World-famous manufacturers of production and sports cars have been already using graphene nanomaterial in their motor vehicles. Our previous videos covered the topic of graphene experimental use in the building and construction industry. Today, it's time to talk about other new applications of this sturdy material which go beyond car production. We'll show you the testing results of the cargo vessel with protective graphene coating and the location of the world's first highway containing this material of the future. Ready? Here are five graphene inventions and technologies that are changing the world in present day. Graphene is a two-dimensional nanomaterial with low weight and high strength. Scientific research has proven that graphene is 200 times stronger than steel. That is, it is an ideal material for the automotive industry, where designers are constantly searching for new ways to reduce the weight of cars without losing their strength properties. The Ford brand was the first automaker to use graphene in the production of commercial vehicle parts. In 2014, the Ford company began supplying graphene properties and experimenting to use it in the fuel, rail, and pump coatings, as well as the engine cover. Typically, the attempts to reduce the overall noise in the cabin result in adding extra soundproofing materials and increasing the car's weight. However, the opposite effect was gained thanks to graphene. Tests proved that its combinations with traditional foam materials reduced noise by 17%, improved mechanical properties by 20%, and enhance thermal conductivity by 30%, compared to the use of foams without graphene. After this experiment, the first cars with graphene elements under their hoods entered the market in the year 2018. These were production versions of the Ford F-150 and Ford Mustang models. Sports car manufacturers are not lagging behind either. In 2016, the British brand Briggs Automotive Company BAC became the first ever manufacturer in the history of the automobile industry to use graphene in car body elements, the rear wheel arches of the BAC mono track model. The British decided to try graphene in a sophisticated and extensive car detail, and one must admit their success was tremendous. Equipped with graphene enhanced bodywork, the BAC mono weighs just 1,279 pounds, which is 580 kilograms. It takes 2.8 seconds to accelerate 0 to 62 miles per hour and has a top speed of 170 miles per hour. Impressive, isn't it? Yet, not only automakers have been pondering about using graphene in their products, some representatives of the shipbuilding industry are also actively looking for possible applications of this nanomaterial in their work. And they have already succeeded in making it a reality. In October 2019, the developer of graphene additives Talga Resources Limited from Australia launched the first test of its protective coating on a container ship. In agreement with the ship owner, the manufacturer added Talga functionalized graphene to a two-component Axo Nobel InterShield 300 epoxy-based coating system. The painted surface area equaled 7,535 square feet. In December of that same year, the company announced the launch of an extensive new commercial trial of the Talcoat additive to marine coatings. In agreement with the same ship owner, the product was tested on a new ship. The specialists mixed the new generation additive with two component epoxy and other paint and varnish components right before application at the painting site. As both tests showed, the addition of Talga graphene resulted in a significant improvement in the impact resistance adhesion and corrosion resistance of the ship's protective coating. In other words, graphene-coated Talga vessels sail safer and last longer. However, safety and long service life are not exclusive to the shipbuilding industry. In September 2021, the British Road Service began repairing the A1 freeway in Northumberland and decided to use the Italian EcoPave asphalt graphene mixture in its work. This was the first ever world case of large-scale graphene application in road construction. The repair operations were performed on a three-mile stretch of northbound roadway between Newtown on the Moor and West College, south of Alnwick, and were completed in early November of that year. Based on research, adding EcoPave to conventional asphalt makes it more resistant to low and high temperatures. Graphene was also found to give the pavement more elasticity, which in turn helps it withstand greater stresses. The new material can also be recycled. 
It will allow for shredding and melting old road sections to build new ones. Two companies, Directa Plus and Iterchimica, were responsible for creating the asphalt graphene mixture. In their opinion, if the road industry switches to EcoPave in the near future, production costs will be greatly reduced and the environment will not suffer as much as it does from the production and layering of the classic asphalt mixture. And how could building and construction deal without graphene? Specifically, the production of concrete. Graphene experts from the University of Manchester and Nationwide Engineering have made a real breakthrough in the concrete and construction industry by developing graphene-reinforced concrete. To form the special material, the team added tiny amounts of graphene to water and cement, and graphene acted as a reinforcing agent. The final result was an improved bonding of concrete particles on the microscopic scale. The experts obtained a material with increased water resistance by 400%, strength by 146%, and Young's modulus, the parameter that determines the resistance of the material to tension and compression, by 80.5%. The scientists called this mixture concretine, a combination of the words concrete and graphene. Concretine was used in the initial pour of the concrete floor slab for the new South Quarter Gym near Stonehenge, England in early May 2021, and the second pour completed the foundation by the end of that month. The production of the new concrete is much more environmentally friendly than its classic counterpart. This technology, introduced into the construction industry's global supply chain, will help reduce global CO2 emissions by 2%. Thus, concreteine applications in construction will make buildings more durable, reliable, and environmentally friendly. Graphene has all the prospects of mass use in various industries in the near future. In your opinion, how soon will manufacturers fully realize all the advantages of such a nanomaterial adoption? Please share your thoughts in the comments and check our channel for updates.